Hey guys, this is Eshmalamte. So lots of people upgrade their phone due to different reasons. Some for the storage of the new phone, some for the processing power, some even for the camera and um, many more. So I'm saying this because I had to change my um, device, that is the Huawei P30 Lite to a new device. And when I was considering the new device, I was looking at a couple of options. I was looking at something with a good camera quality. I was also looking at something with good processor type as well as the processing speed. And then, of course, the RAM, which is very important, as well as the internal storage or the storage the phone comes with. So these were some of the things I was personally looking at. And of course, a very important part, which is the screen size due to me using a yeah, small phone factor. I don't, I didn't want it, um, something which has a very big, you know, screen size as well as the size itself. So I had a chance to go through a couple of um, phones as well as models. I went through um, that of Samsung. I did that of Huawei. Um, I did that of Xiaomi and, um, you know, many more. Um, I would have loved to go with Huawei because I've, you know, been a very big fan of Huawei for a long time. But um, there's a challenge or there's a challenge, which is, most of their current devices don't run Google apps and I've been a Google person for a very long time. So it's going to be very difficult for me to, you know, switch into an entire, you know, different ecosystem where I'm going to now struggle to use Google services. So then I took Huawei out of my list and then looking at other options. So I now had um, the chance to go through um, Xiaomi's um, Poco device. I was also looking at Vivo and um, also I did, you know, um, take out Samsung as part of the phones I was looking at. I don't know why, but yes. So yeah, I had to go to um, select between Xiaomi, that is the Poco device, as well as that of Vivo. I would have considered a Vivo Y31, but unfortunately it isn't available here in Ghana. The Y30 is what is available, but I um, comparing the specification to that of the Poco, the one I went in for, which is the um, X3 NFC, I saw that the Poco had a lot of, you know, advanced, advanced features compared to that of that. So I decided to go in for the Poco. So this is the Poco X3 NFC, um, device. I just got it today. Um, the price, I'm not so sure of the price, like as in the silent price, but I got it for a good deal, which I'm happy about. Um, actually, um, took it out of the box and this is the phone itself. Comparing it to my P30 Lite, this, the screen size of this is 6.67 inches. This is 6.15, so uh, just a little bit uh, more than this, but it looks like it's almost you know, similar in size. Like, yeah, so not so much you know, of a challenge or a problem. And then also, this, um, I'm not going to be comparing, but I'm talking about what um, the Poco has that actually got me interested in going for it. So this has, um, it's using Snapdragon processor and the processor speed is 2.30. It has a RAM of 6 GB, so 6 GB is similar to my P30 Lite. And it also has an internal storage of 128 GB, just as my P30 Lite. Now, 128 works well for me because I wasn't able to exhaust entirely the 128 on my uh, P30 Lite, even though I got some point I was close to, so I had to take off some um, files and the rest. So yeah, that's also like a good thing for me. And then, um, the camera, 64 megapixels, that's the back camera. And then there's 30 megapixels, there's two megapixels. It has, I think, uh, four cameras, so that's also um, cool. And then there's a flashlight also at the back. Uh, I find a bit, um, I find a, uh, it's weird a bit uh, about the positioning of the cameras, but um, the casing makes it look a bit cool. But when you take off the casing, let me see if I can get a case off. I don't seem to like this circle that uh, it looks makes it look a bit weird from the back but hey yeah uh, the case makes it look a bit you know um, cool so um, the color of this i'm not so sure but this is like a blue yeah so um, that's it and it's using a type c um, 2.0 um, you know um, charging um, port as well as it has a phone jack and that is the head uh, headphone jack Unfortunately, in the box, it didn't come with a headphone and it has a, a speaker at the base here. Uh, there's a touch as well as the power button to the um, right here, which, you know, this section, you know, it's good for the thumb. So 
and then the power um that is the volume key which is also on top over here then you have some microphones noise cancellation microphones to the top um it uses two sims that's dual sim nano sims and that's i have to take off the case to be able to um, eject that and yeah so it's not so bad now in the box let me just take the box apart in a box you are greeted with this nice you know i like the color this yellowish color looks very cool i don't know how i would have reacted if the phone also had a yellow color but i like the color and um once you get this out so this contains the manual um as well as i think this uh, yeah the same ejector too is here as well and then there's this um plastic case which it comes with yeah now the um, difference between this case and what I got is that this one hasn't got protection for the camera. So um, if you notice, this is just like a hole in here where you have the cameras just coming through. But this has, uh, sorry, this has, you know, some sort of uh, protection for. So once it even hits the ground, you don't really have any challenges or scratches with your camera. So that is what made me to go in for the uh, protect and um, that is the cover. Aside that, also in the box, let me just put this aside. Aside that, in the box, we have, um, yeah, the manual here. Um, yeah, so basically the manual here. And then after that, you, you would have taken the phone itself. So I have taken off the phone. So this is the um, rubber for the phone. And then you have the fast charger adapter here. So this is um, 33 watts, which, um, it's not bad like it i actually appreciate the fact that this is much faster like about two times faster than the P p30 light um charging capabilities and the only weird thing i find about this is its bulkiness like it's huge it's very huge compared to my let me just get adapter for my um p30 lights it looks like it's not here okay so got it now compared to this to this this is like this is a travel um charger like uh, i thought it would have been best if having something you know done similar to this but not bad i actually when i was raising the uh the box it felt very heavy i was wondering what exactly was in this box that made it heavy but i realized this actually contributed to the heaviness of the entire box so yeah and then of course the usb type c usb 2.0 usb cable in here so that's basically all you get in the box unfortunately there's no headset in it i don't know why um i find it a bit weird in the last circumstance in most most of these phones comes with headset oh i'm realizing that these times some of you the phones don't even come with a charger or an adapter anymore so yeah i'm wondering what some time to come the phones you are going to get like in a box what you are going to get in it maybe you're not even getting anything you are just going to be brought to the box yeah i'm sure you're going to get it sometime so that is all you find in the box so the phone is here um let me just as you can see the poco it looks clean like it looks a bit like uh, i like the feel of the phone i haven't had the time to explore much um yet but i tend to like it the feel is like um very cool in the palm grappling it's uh if you compare the size you notice that this is a bit you know in terms of height this is just a little bit some few inches more than this but uh the weight of it it's almost the same so yeah not bad to have a big screen yeah it doesn't hit just that i didn't want it to be so much huge compared to some other phones that i have seen so um i'm yet to explore to see more about this phone but basically just as i said the specs of it that got me to um going for it was the processor speed through m2.30 um snapdragon yeah cool um 6 gb ram 128 internal storage and um um the screen 6.67 which is not bad and of course it's a um, dual sim phone so i'm able to still use my um dual um sims that i have so i'm going to spend some time to test out it out very well um tested gaming capabilities uh, videos pictures and so on yeah so also for the video it should 4k at 30 frames per second and then um and that's 1080p also i think about 60 frames per second yeah and so on and one good thing is there's this app which is the filmic pro app which is part of the apps that i use for making short videos with my phone 
Um, some phones don't you know support it, but the good thing is this phone does. There's one of the apps I decided to check it out first to see if it was going to work and it does work well. So yeah, um, basically going to spend some time to do more with this device. Why did I change my phone or why am I changing my phone? I realized or noticed that my P30 Lite is beginning to get a bit slow because I've loaded it with so many apps like you can attest to this. Let me just show you. So see that like these are apps now. I've created folders for all the apps on my phone. Yeah, and there's even more. So tons of apps. I have a lot of, yeah, most of these, like I use about 90% or 95% of these apps. So it's not like I'm just installing them for installing purposes. So the Poco um, X3 NFC isn't a bad phone so far. Like my first um, interaction, interactivity I've had with it, I feel it's cool. And yeah, of course, I'm going to share more with you once I'm able to discover more about this device. That's just about it for this video. Um, what will be your reason um, to change your phone? And if you are looking at changing your phone right now, what phone are you looking at? Yeah, I know the iPhones are there. Uh, unfortunately, it hasn't really been my, um, you know, my take in considering phones. I would have loved to have some of the iPhone specifications and Android. But you know, we are catching up. We're actually getting there. We're almost there. Like we are there, yes. We are we are there. So not so bad. Um I would like to hear what phone you'll be considering if you are changing your phone now. And what would be your reason for doing so? And then what budget? So yes, budget was also very important for me because I didn't want it to spend more than a certain amount of money, which is so important anytime I'm considering a change. So I would like to know yours also. So thank you very much for watching. If you are new, you haven't um, subscribed to this channel yet, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime I have a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Ishmael Lamte. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.